Here today we have the two new tripods from Manfrotto. Those are both in the fast tripod system line and they each have slightly different mechanisms. So we're gonna look at uh, what they do, how we've been using them and what you can expect from these new tripods. To start off with, I'm gonna look at the twin leg. Now this one looks very much like uh, Manfrotto's other twin leg tripod systems, but there are a couple of key differences that you're gonna notice immediately as soon as you start using it. There is of course the new fast release system for the legs and that allows you to control the whole of the leg's extension from one latch. And that means that you're gonna be able to quickly and easily raise the tripod up, lower it down, whatever you need to do across the three legs with only three of those latches versus six on a traditional twin leg tripod. Aside from that, around the top here, we do have some differences to where the bowl mounts in. Now, without the adapter, and this takes a 100 millimeter bowl, but it does come with an adapter for a 75 millimeter bowl as well. So you can put that in and have a 75 mil bowl on there if you have that um, as your system already for your head. So that's optional. We have these little releases on each of the legs. And that's gonna allow you to put the legs at a different angle. This is really useful if you wanna get the tripod completely low to the ground, like super low profile. And then push the legs back in, snap those back into place and go up to full extension really fast. Now, when you do do that, you're probably gonna to want to remove the mid spreader on the tripod because otherwise you're gonna be limited on how far you can actually take that out. The mid spreader follows the same format that we've seen on Manfrotto's most recent tripod. So you just push the two buttons in and you can remove each of those spreader joints from the leg. And that means that you'll be able to go down to the lowest extension. To raise and lower the tripod, pull the mid spreader up and then you just release each of these legs and then you can raise it up lock them down and then you can push the mid spreader back down and that is gonna give you a really rigid system immediately. For the releases that control the angle of the legs, you have a choice of 20 degree, 50 degree and 70 degree and that is going to allow you to get down to that lowest possible extension. The tripod is still really rigid in that position but uh, obviously you want to be careful with how you position that and you won't want to do that with the legs extended because that starts to put a lot of pressure on those joints. So just keeping the legs in when you're at that low extension and you wouldn't need to extend them anyway. It would only be if you're trying to span a gap or something. I can't imagine that you would be doing that in the day to day. We've been putting this tripod system to use on shoots for the past month now, and it's working really well. The whole team love it. We're able to quickly and easily raise or lower the tripod from just those three latches on there. And the mechanism itself is very smooth. So everything works very fluidly. You don't get any snagging. You don't get any catches. It just seems to flow out when you release those latches. And being able to go from full height all the way down to the minimum with the spreader in, in a couple of seconds. And then if you want to, and back up to full height in an equally rapid time is what makes this tripod worthwhile for us. Because when we're on shoots, that is one of the things which is gonna slow us up. It isn't even just the speed at which the tripod allows you to do that. It's the mindset that then goes behind it. So what I find on fashion shoots is I wanna try different angles. I wanna get low, I wanna get high, I wanna look down on someone, but then maybe I wanna look up at something or straight on. And being able to just minutely adjust that or do a huge shift really quickly without too much fuss makes it far more likely that I'm actually gonna do that and get a better shot because of it. And that's really important, especially if you're doing corporate talking heads, for example, that small adjustment can make all the difference in the world to how the subject sits in the background, to how the subject actually looks. If you're looking slightly down on someone, it changes the shape of their face. If you're looking up at them, again, it's going to have an effect on how their face is rendered and how they sit against the background. Having the option of changing that without having to release lots of catches, without having to fuss around, is actually very appealing. And it's one of the reasons I think that this tripod's actually gonna replace most of the normal latch tripods for me because the kinds of shoot that I do now, I am frequently changing heights, trying to find the best possible framing, and that allows me to do it. 
That's a quick overview of the twin leg. Let's take a look at the single leg. The single leg is a little bit different. Obviously, we don't have the same mechanism. We don't have the latches um, lifting up. Instead, with this one, we actually have a twist release for each of those legs. I'll do it on the front leg just here. We just twist that round, and that's coming back this way towards me. We can then extend it or pull it back in and then lock. You just go the other way, tighten it up, and the whole tripod's locked. If you go around on each of those and loosen them off, Similarities between this model and the twin leg would be that you can change the angle of the legs quickly and easily just with that release there and then snap it into 20 degrees, 50 degrees or 70 degrees, same as the twin leg. Again, with this, I would probably recommend if you are on the most splayed version at 70 degrees, you're probably not extending the legs out fully. You're probably keeping them tucked into their lowest extension and that's going to give you a really stable platform to work from. 75 mil bowl in this one, so you will need to make sure that uh, that is compatible with your current bowl, but a lot of people do have 75 mil. We go with the 100 for a lot of things because of the size of the camera packages that we use. It just makes a little bit more sense for us, but equally, it does push the weight up a little bit. So having that 75 mil bowl in here keeps the whole package lightweight and nimble. There are a couple of features that are present on this model that aren't present on the twin leg. For example, on the front here, we have the option of anti-rotation connections. So that is a 3 8 inch thread, and then we have an Arri pin and Manfrotto's own anti-rotation mechanism. And that's gonna be compatible with uh, 244 arms. For example, we have our 244 mini arms with a host of attachments, and that's gonna lock in, it's gonna stop it from rotating, and then we can put uh, monitors or microphones. You could put uh, radio mic packs on there. For either tripod, you can use whatever Manfrotto head you would like to, as long as it's compatible with that uh, 75mm bowl or that 100mm bowl. We have just here the Nitrotech uh, 612 head and the 608 head just on that one with the 75mm bowl. Those two work perfectly. They can carry a high payload. Inclusion of the little light is always a lovely addition there. It allows us to really quickly see if the head is level. If you haven't used uh, bowl mounts before, you just adjust from the bottom and then position that with the help of the little spirit level on top so that your camera is perfectly level. And that is important because as you pan, it's gonna become very obvious as the horizon moves. It would be possible to level the tripod with one of the legs but then as you pan, you're gonna go off at a weird angle. So leveling with the bowl is really critical. Now, if you are in situations where you're gonna be outdoors and you need a little bit more grip into the surface that you're working on. For example, we were doing an equestrian fashion shoot and for that, we actually took the feet off the tripod and then used the spikes, go straight to the ground. Those feet come off really quickly. They just got one rubber loop, which you can pull up and over and then you've got access to that spike, stick it in the ground, you've got a really solid platform to work from. Likewise, when you're putting them back on, you just place it into position, pull the loop back over, and you're good to go, and you can work indoors, keep the surfaces all safe from those spikes. So that's really nice that it's a quick, easy way to do that. Um, in keeping with the whole system, these are fast tripods, so they're meant to be quick and easy to adjust, and that foot is really quick and easy to remove if you need to. That feature is present across both the single leg and the twin leg version of the fast tripods. The single leg model that we've got just here doesn't have a mid spreader attached, but it does come with the correct accessory attachments to be able to mount a mid spreader onto the tripod if you wanted to. These two tripods have been out on a myriad of different shoots with us. For the single leg, we were working in Iceland. That was everything from uh, salt water down by the beach, uh, all the way up to the mountains in deep snow and everything in between. It's been absolutely frozen solid and then blasted with salt water, but it worked perfectly. Took this one out and did an equestrian fashion shoot, muddy English countryside. We were taking off the legs, stabbing it into the ground, making sure we were able to do quick pans following the horse as it moved through the shot. That was from various different angles as well. So we were going some really low to the ground, some we wanted to get a little bit higher so that we're more on a level with the horse's head and uh, the model who's obviously 
quite high up. So the ability to quickly and easily change that uh, as the sun is rapidly rising was super important. For the twin leg version, we did a fashion shoot in Barcelona and then also a studio fashion shoot in the UK. This allowed us to really quickly and easily change the height. Obviously, that's what it does, but that is important because when I'm working with models, I want to influence what's behind the model and I want to influence how the model looks. So to do that, you need to be able to change with perspective what you're seeing in the background. So if you wanna get buildings and things, but you don't wanna get people, go low to the ground, look up, and you can get a really cool angle. But that also influences how the model looks. So there we're having the model looking slightly down on us. It changes the vibe, it changes the nature of how that all knits together. And being able to quickly and easily do that was really fun. In the studio, Similar scenario, but uh, obviously it's not about the background there. It is just about how the model looks and how the movements are working. And with a clothing shoot, you do need to be able to see those different zones of the model. It might be something to do with shoes. It might be something to do with what's happening around her midriff. It might be all focused on the face with eyewear, for example. So changing the angle, changing how that works with what your model's doing is super important. And then a uh, bread and butter shoot for us, a uh, corporate talking head, where we're able to get the tripod in just the right position relative to the background and the subject, quickly set it up and adjust it when the person comes in. So we always set something with a stand-in and then when the actual talent comes into the shot, we can just adjust things, make small movements up or down, side to side, just to make sure that everything is perfect for that person. To sum up then, these are two fantastic additions to the Manfrotto tripods lineup. And personally, going from a fast tripod back to a normal tripod is quite a wake up call because it is so much more enjoyable to use these given how much I like to change height. It's something which I do on shoots all the time. And if I'm on a fashion shoot, I'll often go handheld to get that speed. And that comes at a cost. Sometimes you like the vibe of it, but sometimes you'd rather not have to carry the camera and be able to lock it into position and get repeatable shots. This allows me to do that, to change the height, to be that fast, to keep things moving because fashion shoots are fast paced. You have to get through lots of outfits and there's usually a producer on your shoulder saying, we've got to move on to the next one. We've got to make sure we get two more outfits before lunch. So being able to do that on a tripod is actually something completely new. We've never been able to do that. And often if a shoot starts to run out of time, we just go handheld. But here, I don't have to do that, and that's fantastic. So that's my summary of the two new Manfrotto fast tripods. I thoroughly recommend getting your hands on them, giving them a whirl, because it really does change how you're able to use the tripod. Sounds ridiculous, but it's the barrier that's been removed by making it that easy to change the height compared to previous tripods.